the conditions. Well executed, maintaining and setting standards, the battalion is now looking forward to its next tasks and preparing for the next unexpected. But we look forward to the household troops next year on horse guards for our great sovereign. Robert, in this rather strange and very sad year in many ways, what does the rest of the year do you think hold for Her Majesty and members of the royal family? Well, here, if monarchy stands for anything, it's for stability, it's for continuity. I think today, what a, what a wonderful sight. That's probably the most memorable birthday for it, I can recall. No crowds, no royal family, not even a birthday honours list. But here we have the monarch and her guards. Nice to see her as well, wearing that diamond leap, the brooch of the Welsh guards. Uh, and, and so it's very much about uh, uh, keeping calm, carrying on. We've got Armed Forces Day coming up later this month, uh, VDA, VJ Day, the 75th anniversary. The Queen will be at the heart of those commemorations uh, later in the year. But uh, I think today, uh, a really wonderful, uh, reassuring reminder that some things really do carry on. Well, the Garrison Sergeant Major said before the event that although they couldn't deliver the usual scale of the normal birthday parade, they could nonetheless deliver exceptional quality and Hugh and Roberts have no doubt would agree with me that they've certainly done that. So this year's special occasion is over. In effect, birthday parade for the Queen. A one-off event, really, in modern times, due to the challenges posed by the pandemic. Just a few weeks to remind you to put this event together, and it's been a real triumph for the Household Division, and the Welsh Guards in particular. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.